Sorry, we have less than 90 seconds for both sides right now, so we're trying to make 90 second closing statements in two and a half total minutes. Democrats can go first on this one. Okay. Uh, and I will cut you off in 90 seconds. Okay. We were just talking about the spending and research uh, earlier. One of, I can't remember which one of you said it, uh, that the government has created some of these things and then businesses have perfected them. And honestly, I think that's the model. But the point is that in some cases, businesses would not create them. I'm not saying that the government should put in the R&D and then also perfect it and then sell the products and be the businesses. But I'm saying they can initiate and they can help innovation. Uh, we've mentioned several times that we believe in a balanced approach. And uh, to your question, uh, Daniel, uh, no, I don't have line by line on every single spending cut. I could give you some that I know of and some that I would do. Uh, but honestly, that is something that's a little above my pay grade. And would honestly take us, a team of people to answer that question. Uh, but overall, we believe investing in education, investing in research, uh, investing in the American worker, uh, that it pays off, and it pays off in the future, and it pays off over and over again. Uh, we believe that the government uh, should uh, serve the people, and you're making it sound like we're just trying to steal <coughs> their money uh, to use it for whatever. Uh, but we're saying that by themselves, without a government, there's certain things that wouldn't happen. And some money needs to go to the government to make those things happen. Uh, we all should agree that, that to some extent, government is necessary. Uh, it's, it's honestly to what extent, uh, but you have to make some pretty austere cuts. Uh, I know there was a question earlier. Uh, the deficit is an issue, but it's not an issue that we're going to uh, fix in one year. We're not going to make up the entire debt by slashing, making government spending zero. Uh, we're not going to cut it in half. Uh, we're not going to cut every single piece of discretionary spending. Okay, closing statement from the Republicans. I'm sorry, this is going to be closer to two minutes because you said I was going to get your email, so. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently living in the midst of the wickedness of Washington's fiscal imprudence and exorbitance, which will doom our yet unconceived children to skyrocketing interest rates incomprehensible inflation, and a depressed economic state. This is not the America our founders dreamt of. Casting successful individuals as, and businesses as scapegoats may be good politics. It may win a vote or two, and it might even win an election, but it will not revitalize the American economy. It will not create a single job. It will not allow a recent college graduate to move out of his parents' basement. And it definitely will not cure Washington's addiction to living beyond its means. The status quo is not working today, and it will be destructive tomorrow. I'll say it again. This is not the America our founders dreamt of. The notion they did envision was one which would not demonize success but enable it. One which would not be defined by dependency to the state but instead thrives on countless individuals yearning to be prosperously free. The book of Nehemiah says, We have borrowed money for our, the king's tax in our fields and our vineyards. Now our flesh is like the flesh of our, flesh of our brothers, our children like their children. Yet behold, we are forcing our sons and our daughters to be slaves, and we are helpless because our fields and our vineyards belong to others. Let us not be the generation which dooms our descendants to economic slavery. That is not who we are. America deserves better. Our future children deserve better, and we believe in better. And if we act now, when we at long last reach that mountain top and peer over to the promised land, we will be able to smile because we have left behind a nation which will prosper for those who follow. And if we do not succeed, and America instead gives itself over to perpetual malaise, at least we can say that we went down standing up. At least we can say that we went down fighting for freedom. Thank you, God bless you, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. All right.